Okay, so I'm bringing you another collab, okay? Last week it was Alexander. This week it's one of my favorite channels, Life Without a Crystal Ball, Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi. Go ahead for those that aren't familiar with your channel. Introduce yourself to the people. Hi, I'm Katie, uh, Katie Joy from Without a Crystal Ball. We <laughs> cover, um, I don't even know, so many different topics. I kind of think of myself as like a hodgepodge of content. Yeah, um, tell them the shows that you cover. Um, we do Teen Mom, Teen Mom 2, 90 Day Fiance, um, Sister Wives, where my subscribers love the Duggar like ridiculousness. Um, oh my gosh. Housewives. I'm just starting doing some stuff on The Bachelor. I really don't have so many, you know. Yeah, that's why. That's why I love talking to you because you kind of know what's going on on a lot of shows, a lot of great reality TV shows. Yes. Yeah, it's mostly reality TV. Like I am kind of obsessed with a good dumpster fire. Yeah, I mean your shows. Your channel is amazing, and you give the details. Listen, people, when I tell you, you got to go check out her channel. She gives the details on Team Mom. No one does it better. I'm loving it. That's why I had to reach out to you, because I don't know if you know this. I did Team Mom probably about two years ago. Okay. So I really fell out of touch with it, and but I just seen in the news something about Jan Jan Janelle might be coming back. And I was like, let me reach out to Katie. <laughs> I want you to tell me everything that you think I should know and get me up to date on Teen Mom. Oh my gosh, girl. Do you have all day? Because the <laughs> is hot here. So you, you know that Janelle got canned um, in May after her crazy trauma. boyfriend. Well, we call him Swamp Monster on my channel. Um, you call him what? <laughs> Swamp Monster. They, their property is literally on Swamp. It and, really is. No, it really is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Swamp Man, Swamp Monster, whatever. Um, so he, um, you know, Nugget Gate is what we call it, got rid of their dog, not very nicely. Okay. So she, got, she got fired and then she like almost lost her kids. And so there's been this like a she lot of- lost her kids. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yes. They were in, they were in court last May. Um, after everything happened with the dog and they were investigating um, whether or not the children were safe based on what David did. Ultimately, the judge found that they had no um, case. I don't know if that's true or if they just didn't cooperate. I'm not sure. Janelle insists that there wasn't issues going on, mm. but she left David in October. <clears throat> Thumbs yes. up. <laughs> okay. Yes. So she was initially like, which she said she left him initially, but she really did. Like she was out in New York um, when Team Mom 2's reunion was filming. Mm -hmm. And there was all this press like, oh my gosh, she's meeting with the producers. They're going to bring her back on. She'll be on the reunion. Well, it turns out she wasn't actually on the reunion. And she did meet up with one of the show's producers. I think she might have met with Larry, um, who is kind of like, just right below Morgan Freeman. who I remember Larry. Fiona yeah. used to yell at him all the time. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, so I think she met with um, Larry and sort of caught up. The problem right now is that she's still in an open contract and they aren't, they replaced her with um, a character, a character, um, another cast member from Teen Mom Young and Pregnant with Jade. You're talking about Jade. Is that her yeah. name? Yes. Yeah. And even though Jade brought the drama with her husband, with her boyfriend's like drug use and her mom's drug use and evictions and all of that, ratings never they tanked once Janelle was kicked off. I mean, I'm it was so shocked, really. Yeah, it went from one averaging like one point one million a, a week to I think the worst week this past season was six hundred and twenty three thousand people. So, do you think she'll be? good back on that show I mean I so she's been really cagey about it and MTV hasn't made any announcements but there's there's two sort of issues here is that MTV apparently is concerned that maybe 
um, David would continue to make it difficult to film. Yeah. Um, oh, cause G so if she goes back, they still don't want him, right? No. Okay. And that was what they made this, they made the like excuse that she was fired because of the dog, but it was really more to do with the fact that David was interfering so much with filming that for this cat, that season that she was on last spring, she was actually cut out of an, of an episode because they didn't have enough footage. And one of the episodes, she was only via video call because every time they would try to film, he would show up and then they would leave because they didn't want to deal with him because of his explosive behavior. I mean, do you think he's putting off for the show or is he, got, is he a wackadoodle? Does he what? Do you think he's putting on for the show or is he a real life wackadoodle? Oh, I think he's a real life wackadoodle. One hundred percent. What does she see in him? <laughs> like what? Oh, well, what? they're gonna. Get, she moved, so she's she left him. I think you know. She actually just did a video on YouTube um, where she asked where she actually answered fans' questions, mm -hmm. and you know, with Janelle, we call her Janelle. She's had this pattern of like going from one guy to the next to the next to the next, and yeah. all the guys are total d bags. Mm -hmm. And you've got like, you know, she had Kifa and she had, you know. I remember him. Yeah. Portland. Portland. Portland something Portland like that. Who just literally got arrested again last week. Seriously. Um, yes. And then you've got Nathan who is having all kinds of trouble with his alcohol. His Nathan. Oh, that was Kaiser's dad. Kaiser's dad. Yeah. yeah. But she says that Nathan wants to get back together with her and she's not. Interested. Nathan. Yeah. That's what she said. No. Okay. Yeah. I've missed a lot. You're right. Like, yeah, but Nathan on Nathan said, hell no, he does he want to get back together. Nathan her. turned her down. Nathan said no. Well, she says that he likes her more than she does. That's what she said on her YouTube um, video Q and A. And then Nathan on Twitter said, hell no, I don't want to get back together with her. That's not true. Take it all with a grain of salt because he's going through some stuff. He was just arrested this past fall in October in North Carolina for his fourth DUI, um, which is, oh. I know it's a mess, a mess. And he was actually in the beginning of the year, his mom actually called 911 because he threatened to do things to himself after a fight with her. And so oh, he's wow. in the hospital. And so I think he's just going through a lot right now. So I don't really know what going on there um you don't have to know a lot what's going on but what we do know is that these two don't need to get back together no <laughs> that's what we do all. know yeah no. and you know she so she left david and she moved to nashville so she's living in nashville now oh. and um she's insisting that she's single um the last two days on instagram she has been like going back and forth forth with this guy that she hooked up with over New Year's Eve. Um, she flew out to Boston and he was a recently recovered alcoholic. Um, patterns repeating themselves. What, and, what? What did you say? Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Oh God. Dude, this guy was a clout chaser. He, oh my, we need her back on that show. So, I know. Especially if you say their ratings are dropping. Oh. What else do I need to know about that show? Um, Kale Lowry might be pregnant. What? Again? Yes. yes. This will be baby number what? Four. Oh, do you know who she's pregnant by? Or allegedly? Uh, allegedly with Chris Lopez's child. What? Again? Tell me what you know about this relationship. Cause you got to catch me up. I don't know anything. Okay. So she was, um, she'd been talking about how she wanted another child. She wants her girl. You know, she was, um, and so there's always been this sort of like, is she going to, and she said that if she did have another child, she wanted to do the children with Chris so that she could give Lux, give Lux a full sibling. But there's this issue of they haven't really had the most stable relationship and it's been on again, off again, on again, off again. Yeah. I mean, did he ever film on camera? Cause I stopped watching. He still never. doesn't come on. Okay. Go ahead. Never. Mm -hmm. And she never talks about him on the show and um, it's just a very bizarre situation. I've never had a, I've never seen a girl get this much leeway, um, on this show with a relationship and not having to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's bizarre. Um, and this past fall, he was arrested twice for DV against her. 
Uh, um, what? As in, you know what DV means. We all know what DV means. Yeah. It's a, he really did it or was it allegedly? Alleged DV, but she ended up getting a TRO for it. TRL. Restraining, restraining order, a TRL. Oh, okay. Temporary restraining order. Against him? Yeah. What? Okay, so uh, she really loves this guy, right? I mean, what is Chris is like never really committed to her. And he's there's been all these like allegations that he might have got another girl pregnant. What? Which was, <laughs> yes. What? No. I yes. missed a lot. Are you serious? Oh my god. This is the messy. This is like the messy mess. And she wants another baby with him? Well, she's apparently allegedly pregnant. Oh no. Those are the rumors. Those are the rumors. So Chris's aunt posted a sonogram on her Instagram and it was a photo from Kale's car with the same nails that she had on when she um, picked when she got a new puppy. And so you were able to po like notice like yeah. she had her nails like done up. They're put pretty. two and two together. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh and she gosh. and it was a text message and it was say we're due like July 25th. This is happening. Allegedly. Yeah. This is happening. Allegedly. Allegedly. And then, allegedly. Allegedly. And then his dad confirms that yes, Kale is allegedly pregnant. And then Chris says she's not pregnant. And then Kale never comments on it at all. So she still hasn't said, acknowledged whether or not she's pregnant. But Chris was arrested last week for violating the restraining order. Oh my God. The, I can't believe the ratings is dropping. This is insa this is insanity, people. Well, here's, yeah, but the, here's the thing: she's refusing to talk about it. So oh, she, okay. So then it's alleged. <laughs> That's well, my she, confirmation. She won't. She will not talk about it for the show, and the producers apparently want to film it, but she doesn't want to talk about it. Now you know what that really irritates me because you get paid lots of money a to lot show your of life. Money. A lot yeah. of money, right? They're, they, they get paid a lot. And you don't want to talk about it. So what are we supposed to talk about, Kale? Like, you know. I know Javi's not on the show anymore. Joe's Javi, not on the show anymore. Javi's not on? Mm -hmm. See, it's been a minute. Yeah, he left. Well, I'm surprised she hasn't replaced them with, you know. He's I don't know. Back and forth with Chris. And they are apparently done now. And he was in custody last week. He's since bonded out. But it's just been like his family saying that things are not right with him in the head right now. And I don't know. I don't understand the relationship. I don't, she's now on Instagram and on her Twitter constantly talking about how she's in therapy and she's trying to do anything to feel better. And she was like even posting about having shock therapy. I mean, what? Yeah. And then today, and then, and then today she posted, uh, I think 2020 is not going to be a good year. That's not a good sign. I mean, no. maybe if she'd talk about it, she'd feel better. Maybe if you open up, you know, we could give you some good advice, right? I know, I know. I don't know. It's, I think it's weird when these girls and these cast members of these shows get to a point where they get to decide what it is that they will and will not talk about. I can't believe that MTV's putting up with that because yeah. I'm not going to pay you for you to tell me how to produce the show. Right. And especially when it's a legal case, you know that the legal stuff always gets ratings. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What else do I need to know about the show? Catch me up. Catch me up. Oh my gosh. Who else is on that show? Well, Chelsea, she's got like a zillion kids and she's married and she's just being cute and everyone loves her. Don't ever criticize Chelsea. <laughs> oh. um, okay. What about this thing in the news today with Mackenzie? Mackenzie McKee. Yes. From Teen Mom OG. She has been struggling since her mom's premature death from cancer. Her mom um, passed away last month after so that. I know, and she had lung cancer, and she was never a smoker. Wait, what? Really? Yes. She didn't yes. smoke? Mm -mm. That's odd. I mean, you just, no. I would have just assumed, oh, it's so sad. She's not handling it good, huh? Did no. she have any siblings? She does. She's got two older siblings, and then she's obviously married. It's been a tough year for Mackenzie because she actually almost got divorced um, during. Are you having problems? 
Mm -hmm. Like what kind of problem? Well, on the show, she showed up at the very tail end of Teen Mom OG when it was wrapping up for the last four episodes. They did sort of a catch up and they're actually bringing her back um, for when it will air coming up. But it's weird because last year this time um, it was airing and it isn't airing right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know when it's going to actually start. They did a short trailer, um, but it seems like Amber Portwood's arrest from July is going to play um, a part of this upcoming season. And then um, obviously Mackenzie's mother dying and like she was today talking about how she needs to get rid of all of her social media because she doesn't want to have to relive what she's gone through. Oh, that's, I know. That, that my heart bleeds for Mackenzie. I, I mean, do you think she'll pull through? I hope so. I mean, she's got a good support system with her father and her siblings and um, she and Josh um, reconciled. And so good. Uh, I know that they're doing better. I think it's, it was just a lot for one person for one year. It really was. It really yeah. was. Let's see what else. Man, I think you pretty much filled me in on Teen Mom up on the latest. I mean, I've got to start watching that show again. I probably won't have time. I'll probably just have to call you again so you can give me the deets. And you really know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah there's a lot on. I mean, there's the all kind. There's always stuff with Amber. There's always stuff going on. I mean, some of them, some of the cast members do a pretty good job of just like staying Be open. Huh? You said they do a very good job of being open? Just staying out of the press, you know, but Kale is always in the press and Amber is always in the press. Amber's always in the press. What's the latest with Andrew? Are they, they civil? Um, so she was convicted. She pled guilty to a lesser charge in October on Halloween. Um, okay, what? She, uh, of a lesser charge oh, okay. um, in, Ju in October after everything that happened on July 4th. Mm -hmm. um, so she's on like two and a half years of probation. Um, she actually just had a uh, court hearing today about, I think the classes, something was going on with either her not doing the right classes or not using the right program. So um, she has to do all these like battery classes and drug abuse, you know, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, she flew in some guy from Belgium that she met online and he's like staying here on a one-way ticket. Good to know that at least we'll have an interesting show. I'm yeah. thinking when Janelle comes back, those ratings should go back up. I hope she, I mean, yeah. And she just, she's been really cagey. She says, I don't know. I don't know. She's been talking to people, but they haven't announced anything and MTV hasn't really said anything. Um, and they didn't necessarily say that she was fired and she still has an open contract. So the door would never actually be completely closed at this point, but it's, who knows? I'm thinking they're talking to her. Yeah. Things are in the works. I think she's coming back because at the end of the day, their bottom line is their numbers. Right. And Jade did not bring the drama that they were hoping for or the viewers. Yeah. Cause people get invested and we've yeah. known her since she was a teenager, 16. Yes. So let's yeah. switch over to the housewives. Okay. Let's talk about, have you heard about them cleaning house, firing uh, camera judge yes. and Vicky? Yes. What do you think about them too? I'm actually not upset about Vicky going. Um, she's been uh, on there a long time, like a long the time. longest ever. And I know some people on, on Twitter and stuff were saying that it's like ageism because she's like 57. And, oh, they um, were saying that? Ageism? Oh, yeah. Like they were like, Andy, this is a perfect example of ageism, you know? And um, I don't necessarily know that. I feel like it's more like she was actually really out of control this season. <laughs> she really was. And at the reunion, don't forget oh, that. Oh, yeah. I mean, fighting with Andy, going off on Broadway. <laughs> yeah. Arguing with Kelly Dodd. Y yeah. Say this, this was her show. Get off my show. Get off my show. <laughs> She was totally doing that. So it's been a big thing going around. All of the other eyes, rumors are, are scared shitless because, you know, if, if Vicky can go and she's the original, if yeah. Tamara can go and they want a fresher show, you know, do you think that they have balls enough to fire Nene Leakes? Her situation is different because she pulls in numbers, She's been there a long time and people still really love her. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's, it's, I think that they thought about it. That's why they didn't show her on last episode. But her reaction, you know, she went crazy. Yeah, because um, Wendy, <laughs> Wendy said that she was going to leave. But I always feel like these, these cast members are quitting every day. Well, I feel that that was staged. I think that um, Nene was trying to send a message to the producers. I mean, come on. You know, if you're friends with someone, if you tell me something, Katie, do you think I'm going to run back and announce it? No, I really think it was staged. I think that they knew what they were doing. I think that the message, the producers got the message. Oh, okay. She will walk. You know, she's not going to be happy with this. And so they sent her a message back. Because did you see a couple days later, they were like, producers are begging her to stay. I think that they're not going to mess with her just yet. Just because number one paid and the ratings is their bottom line they don't care now other housewives they might be afraid very very yeah afraid. i mean i've heard that the oc's ratings hadn't been as good as they previously had been yeah. so i can see why they would want to like sort of change the guard mm-hmm. and i think the overall cast morale for that season this past season was just really off it, it seemed like vicky was not happy in her position as a friend and she seemed to really target Bronwyn because Do you Bronwyn, really think that a lot of people are saying that? Do you think she targeted Bronwyn and why? I do. I think she was jealous. Bronwyn was in the news a lot. And she was getting really, really positive press um, for being outspoken about her bisexuality, which yeah. no housewife has ever talked about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can't even think of a single one outside of Rosie, who was like the cousin. Yeah, I miss Rosie. I Rosie know. was awesome. I loved her. Yeah, but Vicky's just mean to every new housewife, and plus she was demoted, and so she really did target, in my opinion, Bronwyn. I mean, she gave her a hard time. Well, and I think her calling it her disgusting on the reunion and just screaming and yelling. Did she call her disgusting on the reunion? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I must have forgot. Did she really? Mm -hmm. Because there was so much going on at that reunion that she did wrong. She was telling Kelly Dodd that she's not a business owner and she's trash and everyone, it's my show. (laughs) She said that to the executive producer. It made a lot of sense. I I know. She said to Andy Cohen, just remember where you got started. Like, what? Cuckoo! I I wonder what she's doing right now. She's probably having full on panic attacks and everything. Well, she's gonna have her podcast, and I don't know. Yeah, wow. That people respected her for being on this on the show for such a long time, but I think like I don't know. She was so remember on the reunion where she was like poking fun, like saying that like she wasn't becoming and. She wasn't acting like a lady. And then they're like posting all these like clips of her <laughs> breasts and like <laughs> women. And it's like, oh, the OC ladies have always been drunk. Yeah. Like, woohoo, like, it up or whatever. Guy <laughs> from like hooking up. Like, yeah. that's how that, that, that franchise has always been. So it just seemed like hypocritical. I think that when she lied about cancer, people were done people were like, you don't lie about cancer. What are you doing? I think she totally knew. I mean, you know, if yeah. someone looks like they're sick or not. And so I think she really should have been gone a little bit earlier. I mean, no offense, you know. Now I'm trying not to offend Vicky fans, but she stayed way too long, in my opinion. Well, and you know how sometimes when like, think about like athletes, like remember Michael Jordan, like he was the last to know that he wasn't phenomenal anymore. You know, yeah, yeah it's true. It's kind of like when Madonna started like fighting with Lady Gaga. It's like, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like like when whenever the new, the old rank and the new come in, there's always mm-hmm. that conflict. Yeah, um, and it doesn't take away from what she brought to the show. It just, you know, her kids are older now, and it's like the Housewives was always about moms with families, you know, you know in the thick yeah. of raising their kids. Yeah. And it's kind of the same with, you know, Tamara. She doesn't really have, she's got Sydney, right? Is that? Sophia. She's got Sophia. Sophia. Sydney's the one she doesn't talk to. Maybe she can, let's talk about Tamara. Let's talk about Tamara. Okay. Tamara was fired too. She yeah. was also in the news this morning for going off on Bre- Gretchen, who 
Gretchen yes. celebrated uh -huh. when she yeah. found out that she was, um, that Tamara was being fired and Tamara got upset about it. Yeah. Do you think that Tamara was mean to Gretchen? You know, I think it could go both ways. Like, oh yeah. Well, no, how was, what do you mean? Go ahead. Well, no, I mean, I feel like in one breath, like she's saying, so she said, I can't believe she's still talking about this seven years later. Yeah. It has been a long time. Seven it, has years been, is a long time. it has been a long time, but at the same time, like, I feel like Gretchen has a right to speak about the franchise because she was on the franchise and she had problems with these people on the franchise to the point where it made it impossible for her to be on the franchise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really I, mean, I remember some of the problems, do you? Like, it was like oh, yeah. problems. And I never really understood why they were so mean to her. Like, she had the older boyfriend, but it was very clear that even though she was young, she really loved him and really respected him. And they were all calling her a gold digger, but I always got the sense that it was because I think she was only like 27 and she was very young. Yeah. She was beautiful she and she was had yeah. the most rocking body. I, and I think you just hit the nail on the head why they didn't like yeah. her. Say it again. Yeah. She was beautiful. Oh, the rocking body. Competition. Yeah. Yeah. And she has a bubbly personality and she doesn't come off as like mean or catty. I felt like the editing really made painted her in a certain way, mm -hmm. but I really did always think that she really cared about Jeff because I remember when he passed away, how devastated she was. Yeah. And I watched her on marriage Boot Camp, and I loved her and Slade on the show. I didn't watch that. Was it good with them too? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she was very honest about how she wished that Slade would do more and she wanted to get married and wanted to have a baby, which she finally had her baby, which is so amazing. She wanted to be a mommy for such a long time. So she's in a really like exciting spot right now. Um, and it probably feels good after so many years to feel like Finally, I don't have to deal with these people who are so mean to me yeah. in the media constantly. I mean, that would be hard. Yeah. I think that one of the, one of the biggest things that Tamara did to uh, Gretchen that really scarred Gretchen, because it has been seven years, but sometimes people do things that are, it's just not forgivable. And I right. think that when she called her out, said that she had an affair with a guy named Jay. I don't know if you yeah. remember this. Yes, I do remember that. And when Jeff was still alive, she started accusing her of this. And really, I would say, almost made the poor girl didn't get, get almost made her get cut out the will. <laughs> I mean, she just kept insisting. And it was so much going on in Gretchen's life at that time. She was dealing with a boyfriend with cancer and just a lot going on. And Tamara just zeroed in on her. And right. wouldn't let up. It was yeah, pretty she bad. Was like Jeff's care caregiver. I mean, yeah, there was, there was, she was a caregiver. That's right. Yeah. That's stressful. And she was like, there was no one more committed to Jeff during that time than her. I mean, mm -hmm. she was devastated when he when he passed away. And I mean, I if I were Gretchen, I would have a hard time forgiving that a yeah. person that would spread that kind of rumor because it was never substantiated. Yeah. And then it made her, painted her in a really negative light. That's why I said today, Tamara should shut up and take this backlash to all the people that you wronged. They're going to be ecstatic that you're gone, but you just be quiet, go out gracefully. But she didn't. She keeps responding. And if you keep doing that, people are going to keep targeting you. People are going to keep saying things. And, you know, if you are devastated, because she was almost crying yesterday on her on Live with Andy Cohen about losing her job. If this is something that really hurt you, leave it alone. Stop going after people. And then they don't have this to throw in your face. Just leave it alone. But you, right. yeah. and, and you think you know, she'll listen to me? <laughs> Tamara, you have a lot of people that do love you. Yeah. I think the one thing that you know when you're in the public eye, and we are in a micro scomet, like we are tiny compared to these ladies, but it's always easier to listen to the haters and to listen to the negativity. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good that point. It, that it is to um, hear all the people that are loving and supporting you. And it actually, if she, if she were to say more, like I hope she just ends it with that, because I think if she says anything more, it's going to just come off more as like she's continuing to like, already hurt the person she's hurt, you know? And it's true. And That's I think why Tamara, if you're watching, 
take my advice, leave it alone, please. Yes. yes. And I think, oh. I think Gretchen has a right to be happy. She does. She does. We all love Gretchen. I mean, Tamara's right. Seven years is a long time, but maybe now that she's fired, you can let it go. Okay. So um, now let's talk about what I really need to talk about. And we should be wrapping this up, but this is, this is a long subject. Lisa Renna. Okay. Did you oh. hear about, did you hear about Brandy and, and um, Brain Freeze, Brandy and Denise Richards having an affair. Okay. That's been all over the yeah, media. Yeah. Did that really happen? Denise has not confirmed it, but for me personally, definitely. Like, I feel like Brandy just doesn't lie. Like, Brandy's the kind of person that can't lie because she's so <laughs> honest, you yeah. know? And she's always been open about her definitely. attraction to women. So I guess Brandy is one, right? So mm -hmm. Ron, Ron, Brandy has always been open about her attraction to women. So it wouldn't surprise me um oh has she always been open with it i didn't know she has a, a photo of her doing the no hate campaign on her instagram where she's kissing a woman oh i didn't know that okay yeah well yeah so that's it for me that did it even what you're saying now that extra does it for me i just think this affair happens but here's the thing you have to watch who you and i do believe that denise richards has an open marriage you know she was um, married to Charlie Sheen, I told you that, you know, I used to live around in her same neighborhood around that, and they had a wild lifestyle, oh, yeah. um, and then the open marriage with Aaron, so it just, I know, that's what I'm saying, like, you, you can't be a saint if you're married to Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Who I love, I love right. winning, I mean, yeah. winning. Yeah, it was winning. <laughs> winning, but why would you pick Brandy? It's, it, well, you got to be careful who you, you're sleeping with. She, you know, Brandy has a big mouth. Why would Denise do that to herself? Brandy's beautiful. Oh, because Brandy's, pr but she talks too much. She's I, a beautiful blob. Yeah, blob. She loves attention. Brandy loves attention and she loves to be provocative. So it is an interesting choice. Um, especially because Denise has never been open about that part of herself. I know, I know. And just to remember, I don't know if you watch Vanderpump Rules, how Brandy just acknowledged Sheena for having an affair with Eddie. She never let it go, like years. Like the way she did Leanne, like I would be scared to sleep with Brandy. I really uh -huh. would. She kisses and tells, she really does. I mean, she dragged Leanne for a really long time. And I mean, oh. Under years. Year. Understandably, like, Leanne wasn't really making anyone happy by gloating about this relationship she and did. then throwing in, I'm a bonus mom, you know, all of that. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. But at the same time, like, she really relentlessly went after Leanne and it wasn't very nice. And, and ultimately, Leanne's, like, career has gone downhill. I know, hasn't she suffered enough? I mean, we yeah. haven't heard a hit from Leanne in years. Years. In years. Yeah. So anyway, so they, they got that going on. So we all know on the upcoming episode, on the upcoming season, on yeah. the Rome trip, yeah. Brandy tells Lisa Renna that Denise is talking about all of them behind their back, and then she goes into detail about the affair. Lisa Renna took that and ran with it, confronted Denise, who is still denying that an affair ever happened. Yes. And ultimately couldn't take the stress of the women kind of doing to her what they did to Lisa Vanderpump. So she stopped, has stopped recording and has not showed up to any more taping. What do you feel about Lisa Renna? I feel like, why are you doing that? Are you doing that to be relevant? <laughs> yeah. Because, That's right. Right? Because then she's like going out on Twitter and she's like, why didn't you show up for taping? We really missed you. Like haunting her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And people were even calling her out on Twitter and they were like, Lisa, why don't you just talk to her privately? And she's like, well, I tried, but she's not re responding to me. Well, Lisa, maybe that she doesn't want to talk to you. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. So because they're having this big firing, Lisa Renna does not make as much as she's like middle way do you think they'll fire her 
do you think her job is in danger? Because she's working practically at half price. I know that keeps you relevant. If you're going to work half price and I want to get the budget down, they might not ever get rid of her. Oh my well, gosh. And the fact of the matter is, is that she knows how to get press, you know, and press is good for the show. I can't take her one more year, Katie. I cannot. I don't, you know, I'm, I saw that. So I, I watched a little bit of the season and what I think I didn't like the most about her was when she was talking about her daughter and what her daughter went through. And then oh. she herself started talking about her and yeah. it's evident there's things going on there. It's evident. It's evident, but it's like, she's so critical of what her daughter is. And then there was like this big, like, well, do you think what you've done, like how you are yourself could have rubbed off. And then she sort of bristled and like, I feel like sometimes... Wait, did she answer that question? Not really. Okay. I, well, I mean, she said maybe, you know, maybe mm. my own, you know. But it, at the same time, I feel like when people are hurt on the inside like that, when they're so self-conscious and have to be a certain way, they're, they're the kinds of people are, that are going to lash out and cause issues. You just hit it on the nail, the nail on the head or whatever the thing is. That is so true. You just described her issue. Yeah. It's that she's hurting on the inside. She's got inside stuff going on. Right. I mean, she's got this beautiful husband and these beautiful children, but she's clearly dealing with things on the inside that she's not, where, you know, her daughter is doing stuff and her daughter posted photos and she's in recovery, which is absolutely amazing. And a lot of the women were like, at the reunion, well, like, what are you doing, Lisa? Because I guess that's always been, you know, the sort of the running theme is that she never eats. And you know what? I think I would like her 110% better if she shared that. Yeah. Re but she always wants to focus on someone else's problems or kind of like bully other people. I don't like that. If she shared what she was actually going through, I think people would appreciate that a lot more. More likable. Yeah, especially with things like, you know, I'm not saying she's an anorexic. She looks it. I mean, I, but I can't say. If she shared a struggle like that, people have a tendency to identify and feel like you're helping versus this bullying. I can't take the bullying anymore. Well, and there's that uh, element of perfection that goes along with that disorder if it's what she has. I mean, we have no idea. We're not diagnosing her. But, you know, there is that element of, like, that facade of perfection around it. And so... It's a lot easier to poke holes at other people if you don't want yourself to be exposed. Yeah, that's and true. It's just not, I don't know. She does a lot of outrageous things. I always feel like for press, I think she's very skilled at getting press. I don't feel like anything she does ever is accidental. Oh, you think she's putting on, do you think she's like that in her personal life? Well, I'm saying like her public face. Like yeah. I feel like everything is calculated. Yeah, totally. Every argument on that show is calculated. Oh, yeah. Your team, they got rid of Lisa Vanderpump. That was a plan. That was a plan, and it was executed. And yeah, she wants Denise out. She does. She wants anybody out but herself, and especially now that they're filming with this fear in their heart that they don't know who's next. Well, I think Denise, for all in, I mean, Denise is kind of a little Lolita, right? She, like, wasn't her husband dating somebody else, and then she slept with Heather Locklear's <laughs> husband. In. I mean, she's kind of a little vamp, right? Yeah. She's not, she's not Angie next door with your cookies. Yeah, so. yeah, that's But true. she is very likable. Mm -hmm. I mean, Denise has that sweet affect, you know, mm -hmm. of people like her. They do. They do. I used to say when I would see her out, she would really be with her children and just, yeah, something about her. She's just likable. And that's why I think that if she just came out and said what happened, people would sympathize with her. Like, oh my God, now you have to deal with Brandy. But if you keep denying it, yeah, sooner or later, but maybe she's doing it to save her marriage. I don't know, because I have heard that the marriage is in trouble. This is a sore spot. And so maybe that's why she doesn't want to talk about it. I'm going to give her a chance. I like her. A true open marriage or was this? It's a, it was an open marriage. The rumor is they had a threesome with Brandy and then Denise kept doing it with 
Brandy without telling him. And so oh. that's the problem. Yeah, he didn't, she didn't tell, I don't know why, she, maybe, I don't know. She didn't tell him. And so, but she's denying it and she's denying it to him. She's denying it to the public. Sometimes when you're busted, you just got to come out and say, yeah, I feel like you just got married. And so I understand her fears. I do. I feel like sometimes the more times you deny it, the guiltier you look. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, we don't know what happened for sure. But for me, to me, it just looks like you did it, Denise. You did it. And if I were you, I would just cop to it. And then the rest of these women won't profit off of your pain because people like Lisa Renna, she's using you at this point for storyline. She's exploiting that vulnerability. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's terrible. That's it's like what a, that's what a bully does. Why are you exactly why are you being such a bully, Lisa? <laughs> so listen, Katie, amazing. Thank you for catching me up. We have got to do this again. Oh my gosh. You have so much information. I You're funny. It. I love talking to you. Yes, it's been a blast. I'm so it's happy. It's been a blast. You've got to come back. We got to do this again. Maybe next time we'll go live. What do you think? Oh, that would be so much fun. <laughs> I know that's your forte. I love, I love it. Live. I do. I do. All righty. Um, okay, you guys, we're going to wrap for now. I hope you guys agree with me. Katie needs to come back. What's the name of your show again? I'm Without a Crystal Ball. So it's just youtube.com slash without a crystal ball. Any other products you wanted to push? You do have Instagram, social media? I do. I'm on Instagram at without a crystal ball. I'm on facebook.com slash without a crystal ball. And then I'm on Twitter at W-O-A-C-B official. So there you have it, guys. Make sure you check her out. When I tell you it's a good channel, I'm not kidding you. And she's got lots of variety on that channel. Okay, yeah. Katie, I'll see you next time. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.